Good morning, I can barely open my eyes, it's so bright. Today is Bank Holiday Monday. Oh my God, it's so bright. <laughs> As I was saying, today is Bank Holiday Monday. I'm just off to the gym, it's half past seven. I'm just setting off now. I've got my merch on. <laughs> oh, and, and uh, I didn't tell you guys, I've actually designed my new merch. I'm not sure if we're gonna run this one with it. I haven't actually spoken to my management about it yet, but I have designed my new like range and I'm really excited about it. I absolutely love it. So that's exciting, but I've gotta head to the gym now or my trainer will be mad because I'll be late. <laughs> that's a lie, he doesn't ever really get mad, but yeah. I've got little Dutch braids in. Can you see? I just sat and did them because I always get up at either six or half six and I got up at half six today and I was done but with my shower by like quarter to seven so then I've just had 45 minutes so I just thought I will Dutch braid my hair and I'm gonna head off now so I'll see you when I'm back. Nah. <laughs> Hello, I am back. Ugh. I had a right palaver before I went because last night I accidentally left a tanning mitt in the sink and when I took it out this morning, the tan had like stained the sink. So I had to put bleach in the sink to get it out. I shut the door when I was getting ready, but Nelly pushed it open and he went and trod in the bleach. So I had to give him a full on bath. Literally, ugh. He's okay now, like it's all off him now. All he did was pop his paw in it, but as soon as he did it, I was like, fucking hell. So yeah, I had to give him a bath and make sure it was all off and stuff before I left. I've just got back, just been to Sainsbury's, as you can see. <laughs> Don't want this to be controversial or anything, but I'm not gonna like hide what I eat. I need to eat more protein. I don't get enough in my diet at all, even though I drink protein shakes. And it's tough for me because I don't like a lot of food that has protein in, like beans and stuff. I just think they are absolutely minging. So I'm gonna be eating one chicken meal a week just to make sure I have a little bit extra of protein. So I got some chicken. I am not the biggest fan of meat at all. I'll tend to avoid it wherever I can, but I need more protein in my diet and I've tried other ways of getting it and it's just not working out for me. So one meal a week that is gonna be chicken. And then I got an iceberg lettuce and I got some pads. <laughs> Cause when I'm in the house, I don't like wearing tampons. I feel like it's a waste of a tampon if I'm not going out. So I'll just pop a pad on. <laughs> There you go, awesome. So now I'm gonna make myself, oh my God, it's only half past nine. Whenever I get back from the gym, cause I go so early, it always feels so late. It feels like lunchtime and like I wanna make my lunch. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a protein shake. Cause I haven't actually had one in a week. Okay, so this is a protein that I have. It's by My Protein, and it's called the Chocolate Smooth Flavor Impact Whey Protein. And it's gluten-free and vegetarian society approved. And it just looks like this. I've tried quite a few, well, not a few. I've tried two proteins before. There was one that Anna Gardner recommended. I always wanna call her Viviana Does Makeup, but she's like changed her name now. So I never know what to call it, but I used to watch her videos and she recommended this super expensive one. It was like 55 quid from net a -Porte. It's in like a tub and it's white and it's vanilla and it's freaking vile. It tastes like sand. And this is the only one that I've found that is so smooth. It tastes like a chocolate milkshake. Like you can't even taste any bits in it at all. So honestly, I would recommend this protein powder like more than life because I know full well how disgusting protein powders can be because obviously I don't eat that much meat in my diet and I went through a stage of not eating any at all. So I was trying to have more protein shakes and I just could not find one that I liked. And then my old trainer told me to get this one and oh my God, it's like blown my mind because it's actually so nice. Just literally tastes like a chocolate milkshake. And that is just what I want after I've been training, a big old fat chocolate milkshake. But I put almond milk in it. I guess you could use whatever milk you want. And yeah. Look how smooth it is. It's so nice. This is from Monkey, by the way. Look at Nell having a little drink. Where you move, make me blind. Just 
making some chicken with sweet chilli. Then I'm going to cook this shallot down and I've got a wrap all ready for it. Also, I just painted my nails this colour. It's called Greenberry by Barry M. <laughs> Okay, so I'm still eating my lunch about two hours later. It's now 2 p.m. <laughs> but I'm going strong. I've posted some stuff on Snapchat, little pictures of what's inside my scrapbook, and people just keep on tweeting me with, where's this from, where's this from, how do you do this, where do you get your pictures? So I thought I'd just talk to you about it. So, first of all, this is an Instax printer. You pop Polaroid film in it like you would do a Polaroid camera, and you connect it to an app on your phone, which looks like this. This isn't an ad, by the way. It's called Instax Share. Choose a photo. So say I wanted to print this picture, it would come up like that. And that's like a little Polaroid thing so you can see how it'll look. Then you just connect this to this and print it out. But bear in mind that you do use a lot of money in Polaroid prints. I don't mind because I want to keep my scrapbook forever. Like I literally want to pass this down to my kids and stuff if I have children. So I don't mind putting money into it. It's not like a silly little hobby that I've got. So yeah, but you do use a lot of money on these things. And then to do the writing in my scrapbook, I use one of these. It's called a Dymo. You just twist it for what letter you want and then all you do is put Punch it and it gets the letter. So if I do spaces now, look, you'll see I just did a G. So that is that. I got it on Amazon. Also with these, you have to buy refill packets for them, which are like this. This isn't actually that expensive. So yeah, I really like this, but this is from Amazon. I'll link everything below. And then the book itself is just a black book. This is from eBay. I'll link the exact one that I use below. I personally like black pages in mine because I think the photos stand out so much more on black pages. They just look so much nicer. That's the writing stuff that I was just talking Talking about and these are the Polaroids that you can print out that I was talking about. I've got a couple on this page so I'll just show you them. Oh I've got loads on these pages. <laughs> so if you want photographs like this or that one or I don't know any of my other pictures they come from a website which I will link below. I have the website on my phone actually. Oh it's called La La Lab and it's just in my little folder. So what you can do on here is you can just print pictures, prints, posters, loads of stuff on here actually. And if you want a code for five pounds off your first purchase, type that in. I will leave it as a link below and I will get five pounds off mine as well, just to be transparent, obviously you can see it there. But yeah, if you want a fiver off, there you go. So that's basically everything that I use for my scrapbook. To stick my pictures down, I just have sellotape and I'll take a piece off like that and then I'll just curl it back around on itself and fasten it. This is so hard with one hand. So I'll just fasten it like that. Obviously, I'll do a bigger piece depending on how big it is. And I'll stick it on the back and then I'll just stick it down. So yeah, that is everything about my scrapbook. I'm going to be filling it up so much more. But it's got so chunky. This is just from 2014 to 2017. I need to change that sticker. And yeah, I've got quite a few pages left to fill up. But I'm sure I'll do that this year. So there you go. That is everything about my scrapbook. I'm now going to start filming a video that I need to film today. As I've said, it's just turned 2 o'clock. And optimum light at this time of year for me is 3pm. So if I just get set up now, I can do it. I'm going to do a week of testing products again. And it's going to start on the 13th of May. So right now, I'm just pre-filming two videos 
videos for then because between now and the 13th of May, I've got my brother staying from Wednesday, so from tomorrow. He's staying until Saturday, then he's going to Alton Towers. I'm getting the train home and I am picking up my kitten with my mum who's then driving me back here. She'll stay for a few days and then a couple of days after I get my kitten, I have to go and get something done in my lips to get rid of this damn lump here. And then that means that I won't be able to film because my lips will go swollen and bruised again. And then literally like three days after that, my week starts. So I'm pre-filming two videos now just to know that I've at least got two done and I only have five more to do in that space between now and then. But yeah, set your alarms for the 13th of May because that is when I'm going to be starting another week of testing products. And I've got some really good products and brands and stuff and I'm just so excited for it. So yeah, I'm gonna get all that set up now. Let's do it. So I've finished my makeup now. It actually went a lot better than I expected and it looks so gloomy outside. It looks so nice. I hope it rains. I've been on my meal plan all of today <laughs> and I already want pizza. Uh. Anyways, I'm just about to print something. Oh my God. It looks so gloomy. Yeah, I'm just about to print my meal plan or try to print it. It's not connecting to my printer, so let's have a look. Printer, hello, it's me Gabs. <laughs> oh, 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 sugar plum fairy. I'm on a wobbly chair. I think I've turned it on, guys. I'm a bit scared on this chair. I think it's gonna work. Well, the printer's ruined it with them noisy noises. We're just about to give you some sellotape ASMR. Do you like my nail colour? Is it pretty? Lovely. Oh, oh, safety. Right, you know in my meal plan, I cannot just eat clean all the time. I have to let myself have treats and stuff. And I've literally factored in jammy dodgers. <laughs> into my meal plan because I'm going calorie based right now which doesn't work for a lot of people because some people can get like obsessed with it and then do less and less calories and that's not good at all at all but for me it is something that does work for me I've done it in the past and I'm not restricting calories I'm still having quite a lot I don't know I'm having 1500 which my trainer said that that's what I should be having so yeah Get in my belly, Jummy Dodger. Update, it's raining. Probably the only person who wants it to rain, but I just love rain. There's nothing nicer than when you're inside and it's lovely and toasty and warm and it starts raining outside. It's just gorgeous. All the trees are blowing. I've got so much to edit. <laughs> I'm just done. All the seasons and the times of your days All the nickels and the dimes of your days In the world of love you keep in your eyes I'll awaken what's asleep in your eyes it may take a kiss or two Through all of my life Summer, winter, spring and fall of my life All I ever will recall of my life Tomorrow's waiting deep in your eyes In a world of love you keep in your eyes I've been sat here editing for hours, literally like six hours it is now quarter past 11. I should be in bed. I'm so tired, but I've managed to edit two videos. So I'm really, really happy about that. I've now got two up and ready to go on when they need to go on. And that's just like made me so happy, but I need to go to bed right now. I'm sorry if this vlog wasn't very long, but I'm like trying to still get back into vlogging after having 
a week or two off. I don't remember how long I had off of it. I'm still trying to like get back into the groove. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna go now. Give this vlog a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will hopefully see you tomorrow. Bye!